Hi everybody, this is Joe from writewithwarnamont.com and for this part of my web series we are going to walk through how to set up a list in MailChimp. Uh, lists are the area of MailChimp where you can compile emails. Lists are great for seeing what readers have subscribed, who has unsubscribed, which readers interact the most with your emails, as well as the ability to segment based on different types of readers. For example, on writewithwarnamont.com I give the option for people to receive all my blog posts via email or they can simply just uh, enroll to my weekly newsletter. This allows for target marketing and gives your reader, reader the choice as to what content they want to receive. For writers, you might give them the options to get your ebook and then maybe check off if they want to receive all of your blog posts. Okay, so to get started, uh, you'll want to log in to the MailChimp dashboard. Uh, so you can just go to MailChimp.com, click Login, and then type in your login information. And then click Login. After that, you can click on the Create a List option right down here. Uh, this will give you a handful of fields to fill in for customizing your list. First, what you'll want to do is name your list. Uh, this is for your own reference and can really be anything. Uh, for example, my main list is named Write with Warnemont Newsletter, but for this I'm going to do MailChimp Training Newsletter. Or you can even do MailChimp Training News. Uh, the default from name is important because this is who your readers will see as the sender. You can put in a company name or your own name. So I'll just type in my full name so people know that it's actually coming from me. And the default reply to email is just as important uh, since people can actually reply to these emails you send out. You want to make sure the email is to an inbox that you frequently check in case people respond to your emails. For every email you send out there will be an option to customize the subject line. Uh, however in the event that you don't put in a subject line you can have something come uh, as as by default. I would recommend just putting your name, company, and then maybe newsletter or update. Uh, so I'll just do write with Warnemont update. And then you'll also want to remind people how they actually got onto your list. This is required uh, so you can just put in that they subscribed on your website. Uh, that's actually what they recommend right down here. You, can, you, know, you can just say you are receiving this email because you opted in on our website. at my website. After that, simply type in the company name. Uh, this can be your blog name or simply just your own name. So I'm going to do write with Warnemont. And then the address is going to be required and this will show up on all your emails and this is actually required by law just to let, let people know uh, where the emails are coming from. I would recommend putting something generic in the address field just so people don't have your exact address uh, for example, you might put downtown. Uh, that's what I put for all of my emails. And then you can put in phone number right down here, but that's not required. Uh, I usually leave that blank just because I don't want people calling me. Uh, and then you can also specify what notifications you'd like to receive. When starting off, I would recommend getting one by one subscribe notifications as they happen as well as one by one unsubscribe notifications as they happen. You can change this later once it starts cluttering your inbox, but these are good for motivation boosts and to keep track of how many people are subscribing and unsubscribing to your list. And lastly, I would leave the people can pick email format checkbox unchecked. If they don't get HTML emails, it will show up in plain text format by default. Uh, but if they can, you don't really want to give them the option to opt out of seeing your images. So you can just leave that unchecked and hit save. After you click save, your list will be all set up. Uh, you have a handful of options to manage your list in the future. Right up here, you can actually import contacts via Excel spreadsheet if you have previously acquired some emails. You can also click the view button right down here. Uh, so this will just kind of show you that you have zero subscribers um, and that will go up obviously as people start to subscribe. 
um, but if you click the view option that will give you two options the stats overview and subscribers these areas are great for checking out how receptive people are to your content in order to see who interacts with your emails frequently they have cool stats like what people click what links and how many times a single person opened your email uh, so if you actually go to the subscribers button obviously it's empty right now uh, but this will give you a list of all of your subscribers and then you can go in here and you'll actually rate them based on how many people how many emails they open how many times they've read it as well as what links they've clicked in that email one last cool thing is that you can segment based on different parameters so if we go up here to segment this allows you to target different groups of people instead of sending possibly irrelevant content to everyone one good example is that you might send to your members if we go down here uh, it'll give you a drop down of which areas you can actually segment by uh, but for example you might do something like member rating um, and then you can send to just people who have a four star rating or a five star rating and like I said before MailChimp actually rates them automatically based on the amount of emails uh, that they, they open, how many times they read, and how many links that they click on in those emails. And then if you do segment by the members, then you can maybe send them some exclusive content or give them a promotion on a book you're trying to sell or something like that. Just a little incentive to give your, your members who are typically more engaged than other members. Alrighty, so that's how you set up a list in MailChimp. In the next video, we will talk about setting up your subscribe form and how to actually get it on your website. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at writewithwarnamont.com slash contact.